All right, yo, what's up, guys? So uh, today I'm gonna be showing you about, like, telling you about what swing trading is. So swing trading, like, I know you don't know what it is. You might know what it is, uh, and it's just my, uh, it's what I call it. I can't find anything on YouTube that like talks about it, so I'll just, I'll just tell you about here and now. Swing trading, probably one of the best ways to make money if you're like zero to thirty k, like. And you can actually start from zero with this. I mean, yeah, obviously I have to have a limited, but you can start from zero and work your way up. Because, like, even smaller items have their own swings, and which, so I'll get into that, right? So, let's just start off with what is swing trading now. Inflation, deflation, the time of the year really plays a big part in this. But, so, let's analyze. I have a few items pulled up, right? And let's analyze these graphs, right? So, uh, don't need that duplicate. So, let's just say you're brokey, right? You're brokey. And you know you want to make some robux. So you have a bit HP bar. You just some a bit item you bought went limited, right? And you know it's kind of hard to trade up from when you have so small. But hey, don't worry. You have swing trading, right? So swing trading. What you do is you want to look at the graph. Now, the graph can sometimes be inaccurate because of all of the projections, especially in smaller items. That's why again, I, I honestly don't recommend trading if you're this small. Again, like go and plus donate. That's probably a better better place to be while you're that small. But if you're like dedicated to trading you want to make profit trading uh even though it'd be slower uh, while you're young um this is the way so swing trading what is it so you basically want to profit on swings so i know this item which i've known this item for a while and that's kind of what it comes with experience mostly but because like on, on the smaller items on the bigger items you can see because they don't get projected as much but let's just look at the small items so i know 8-bit hp bar like from my past experience, I know it goes from like 900 to like 1.4k. That's kind of what I've seen it as. So let's just say I get it when it's 900, like the cheapest, which is probably not going to happen. But you know, you just get it when it hits this like relative floor, 900, 1k, whatever. And then trade it off once it hits 1.4k. For example, for another item that's at its low floor. And you kind of have to um, plan all this stuff out. But you know, let's just say... So you, you want to go to this website, really Mons. I'll link it in the description. I probably I'll try not to get it, but here's here's the URL. So go on the on the item page, go in the graph, and just take a look at the three months or like three month or one month. It doesn't really matter. And just take a look at its low floor. So low floor seems to be 980. Just wrap. I mean, again, I've seen its price like 800, I think. Uh, you know, 800 and whatever, 850. But its low floor seems to be like okay, 900 wrap, almost 1k, right? And it's high floor, not counting its projections right now. I've seen it be like 1.3k when it started, 1.5k. So you gotta keep, you can already see that floor is like you know like like 950 to let's just say again like yeah 1.4k. So you have five, a 500 profit margin you can make just right there by flipping it. So sure it might take some time, but you're gonna be making profit and you're not really doing anything. All you have to do is trade it off when you know it's gonna, it's at its like peak, right? And inflation and deflation really plays big roles in these because for some reason, if you look at any item, January 21st ish, it, every item spikes, every item spikes. And this is when you really want to have demand items. So if you have undemand items, you really want to trade trade them away before that date, because uh, you know like uh, anything through January. Uh, later months is inflation, October, that like, you know, the fall season is deflation. So, uh, inflation is actually good for you because that means your items go up in value if you didn't know that that word meant. But uh, just take a look at any one of these graphs. Look at January, the, the quantity sold on every item like really spikes. I don't know why January 21st, 20th, it just, just something happens in all items except non demand items. So, yeah, by that time, make sure you have demand item. It's just an easy profit once a year. Again, items sell back down, but just try to trade up for just something, you know, that doesn't spike as high. So yeah, again, back to swing trading. So again, let's say you're not a brookie, you know, you're starting at an actual respectable level. I mean, not saying that, you know, you can't start somewhere with 1K, it definitely happens. You know, people make like nothing is something videos. Uh, but again, let's just let's just say you're starting from where, you know, you have the side in 3K. Hey, that's a great place to start. Um, and so with this, it's most reliable if you use it with items that have been out for a while because, you, you know, they usually have a, a trend, I guess. So. And yeah, that January 21st thing, I mean, literally look at any item, any item, and it has that spike. I don't know why, it sometimes goes up in value. I mean, it most of the time does, because, you know, it's an increase in sales that day, so anyway. But on the on the main point, so you want to take a look, again, I'll, I'll explain this again. Uh, take a look at three-month graph, right? So, okay, low floor, I mean, other than this item being, like, projected a lot, I don't really see low floor. Okay, let's just say 2.2k, low to hits, so we know, like, 2, 2.2k, 2.3k, 2.4k is kind of when we want to trade for this item because you know that's kind of when it's low um and i guess it was just this one time in the month and so like you know if you trade for it when it's that that low odds are it's not going to go lower because it tends to bottom out like the bottom tends to even out it doesn't tend to go lower you know in that area and if it does it's not going to go like lower by like maybe 100 it might go lower by 100 it's not going to be anything too crazy because you know judging by the 
trend of the graph, you'll be fine. And especially if it's a demand item, again, this doesn't work with undemand items, you have to kind of like trade for demand, which I wouldn't trade for undemand if you're smaller than like, ugh, still, yeah, probably like 10, 15k, because it's just not worth it at that point, because it's too risky, right? Undemand items too risky. Um, and that's where projecteds get into the mix, which, yeah, just don't, don't mess that. Trade for demand until you're hired. If you have questions, I'll answer them, but... So yeah, low floor 2.2k. Look at look at this graph. Uh, not counting projected. Uh, I mean, because I know this item's projected for 5k recently or something stupid. But uh, yeah, like high floor looks to be like you know around 2.8k, 3k. I see this item at 3k all the time, 3.2k. So just take my word for it. Let's just say let's just say around 3.2k is high floor. So you see that's a one 1k margin of just sheer profit you can make, right? So again, let's just say let's just say at that time it was 2.2k wrap you had a pair of silver thorn antlers right now let's take a look at silver thorn and silver thorn is high it's 2.5k and you traded that 2.5k silver thorn you know that's that 2.5k is as high because you, you looked at the graph you followed the swing trade method and you traded for red goof and then you just waited for red goof to go back up to his usual 3k it's usually 3k around that and then boom 500 profit and silver thorn can't maintain that 2.5k forever again i know it's a new item but um, just take a look at the one month. I mean, it's like, I mean, sorry, nah, yeah, it, it, it like hovers around 2k, 1.8k. But you know, sometimes it does go up to 2.5k. You don't see it on this chart, but um, it's wrap. I've definitely seen this wrap go that high. Um, but I mean, yeah, 2.2, 2.3k is like, it's kind of like relative max. I would say like, you didn't really see 2.5k ever, except in, like in the past. But like 2.3k, I would say is pretty average and. Yeah, you know, high and 1.8k, 1.7k is this average low. So again, if you can swing trade that, like you have the 8-bit HP bar, for example, right? You have 1.3k, then you have it like a few ads, like a tabby cat trade for silver thorn when it's 1.7k. Ride it up to 2.3k, trade it off for, uh, let's just say, uh, like a blue ultimate dragon face plus like a few ads. Well, it's at its low of like 1.8k or like 1.7k, and then you know, ride it up, trade it off, downgrade, upgrade, and then like. You're gonna swing trading profit easy, right? So I have a few more items that I'd like to talk about. So sinister branches, right? I'll just give some more examples. So we look at the graph, right? Go to three month history. Uh, again, this is gonna take some time, but you know it's worth it because right now you're making percent gains, right? And that's all what trading is all about. It's making percent, you know. So if you make five percent here, ten percent there, that's amazing because even if you know you're only making 10 robux 20 robux 50 robux while you're small imagine those percent gains when you're bigger right if you make 10 percent on a 100k robux item like that's huge right so that's like 10k like you have to like blow blow your mind right so just like keep up the keep up the consistency if it takes a couple years it takes a couple years it doesn't cost you anything except five dollar premium which i think they're getting rid of anyway so yeah so anyway <laughs> three month graph right uh, I've seen this item go as low as like 1.3k, like yeah, 1. Point, yeah, 1.3k, 1.2k. So this item has gone low in the three month period. So we know that it's low is 1.2k, 1.3k. It's not gonna go below that because it's already hit its low, right? I mean, even take a look at a larger scale graph. It's not gonna go below like that's its low, low, low. Like that's the bottom of the bottom, right? So if you can wait, because again, right now we're in inflation, so not the most ideal time to do this. But if you can wait for this item just to go back down to this, it's low after. Uh, inflation is just like at its, I mean, deflation's at its end. You know, trade your like crappy smalls for it. Even trade the 8 bit HP bar if it's at its high. Trade that for it. And now you just got such a better item that has a higher floor. Because I've seen this item 2k, 2.2k. I mean, you know, like right now, this item is still kind of at its low. I mean, it's rising because of inflation, but, um, you know, typically I saw this item a lot higher. Um, it's been out for quite a while too. So there's no reason this item should be that low, but it, it is. So if this would be a good item to trade for right now, I still think it is. Um, best price is 2K. I thought it was 1.8K a few days ago, so it's already going up. Inflation, let's go. Um, so if you could have, you know, traded for the item when it was walls, 1.2K, 1.3K. Let's just say, you know, because those are unrealistic. Let's just say 1.5K, right? You don't catch it at its exact low. You know, right now it's at 2K. So, you know, you didn't even have to wait that long. I mean, it was at 1.5K, like, what, 21st? Like, that a week, a week ago it was at 1.5K. Now it's at 2K. So, I mean, that's 500 Robux, you know, trade it for Silverthorn plus ads. While Silverthorn is at 1.7K, you know, get a Tabby Cat. You know, you always want profit on downgrades. When you downgrade, hey, profit a couple hundred pocket it and just swing trade all the way up to the top. Now, legit, again, final example, I'll do this. Final example, right? Which I've never... Uh, I actually looked at this so it's gonna be kind of interesting so take a three month 
three month uh, look. So legit was has gone up with inflation so much because it's a really demand item. That's why you want to trade for demand. You don't want to trade for crap because if you trade for crap, this isn't gonna work. You know, like your undemand items are gonna they're they're strange. You know, they can get projected really easily. They can um you know drop in value really easily. So you want to trade for demand. Demand is stable for the most like it's not gonna like shoot down and like you're gonna lose like 1k robux instantly like you know de demand at least you have time to make your decision on what's royal mons makes it value go down like ak which i think let's just gonna be getting raised so now would be a good time to trade for it if you're uh, in the market that in that ball range but all right so okay low looks to be 5k right before the projection and now it's at <laughs> i mean ak so you're probably not gonna catch this item at a good deal but again if you look at the bigger picture i mean this item has been up like you know 11k so again my like I, the best time was to buy this item right here i don't know i wish i could have traded for this item because look at this over the span of a couple months you could have <clears throat> gone wh what is that august one two three four like five months four months over five months you could have made a almost 100 percent profit because its value is at almost um 10k I mean, it's gonna be 10k like you know i i it's not gonna go down value and it's in discussion right now which is another thing about proofs and discussion I can talk about later, but it's kind of almost irrelevant, which, okay, proofs actually do play a big part in swing trading because, you know, you can swing trade an item, you know, like, for example, I know legit's getting good demand, I know it's a good item, I know it gets overpaid, and if I see it's in discussion, I probably should trade for it while it's low, and then when, you know, the it gets bumped up to, like, you know, what I think it's going to bump them to, because legit already gets overpaid, I know it's going to go to 10k, um, then... Boom, I just made one prop, 1k profit, right? So, yeah, if your item goes in discussion, it's usually a good sign. Usually a good sign. I mean, even then, you can send out trades before the item actually, like, you know, goes up or goes down. So, if it goes down, you can just trade it off for, like, even. You know, because you'll get offers. I'll send out a trade right now, and I'll get, like, even offers for my legit, which is whatever. I don't really want even, but, you know. I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared, right? Like, I have trades. If, uh, you know, if it goes down in value, I can just trade it off. Easy peas, right? All right, so, anyway. I uh, hope this, this video <laughs> helped you out on swing trading. If you have any questions, if I need to make a second video, uh, leave it down in the comments. But this method is pretty much foolproof. It just takes time, right? And time, it's not something everybody has, but keep in mind that there's so many items that you can swing trade, so many items. It's not just like one or like five you have to focus on. You, you know, you can look at like basically the whole spectrum of the lower end items. That's why this only works at the like lower end because, you know, higher end, it becomes more value-based trading and, you know, lower items don't have a fixed value they just they're really volatile which is how you make this work so if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a sub uh and ask me questions in the comments uh yeah actually so subscribe like I, my uh my, my gains i've been kind of caught like you know i've been kind of caught like and i grew last week like a good amount and this week hasn't been that good but that's kind of my fault for putting out bad <laughs> bad content so yeah i'm not gonna complain just they just drop a sub because um if you watch all the way uh i probably helped you so yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next one. Peace. Also, join my Discord server. Link in description.